This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 28th of January. James Spann here getting set to go to Winfield this evening. Uh, we'll be at First Baptist Church for the kickoff night of Storm Alert 2010, the annual severe weather awareness tour across the state. But we've got time to crank out a video and let's look. Big mess, not too far away, but today, boy, feels good. That's the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam. Looking uh, to the southeast from the top of the Daniel Building, a few high clouds around. Temperatures up around 60 today. How about that? There's the Gadsden Sky Cam, very similar sky that's looking east. And up in Walker County, that's uh, coming from the King Building in downtown Jasper. Oh boy, here we go. You can see the issue at hand. The northern branch delivering very cold air down the pike with that uh, vortex over eastern Canada. Southern branch very active, cranking out the storms. And that's a whopper of one coming out of the southwest. And that is going to be an icy mess for the I-40 corridor. But yeah, look at those numbers. Feels almost like springtime around here today. Birmingham at 61. Tuscaloosa, 65. 57 up in the shoals. And just north of here, it's colder. And some of that will try and uh, cross the state line tonight. And you can see that uh, you go farther north, you got Memphis at 40, uh, Little Rock at 37, and then back into Oklahoma where the, the icy mess is in progress. Oklahoma City is at 30. And speaking of that, oh, man, that's nasty looking. Very heavy snow falling in the Texas Panhandle. And uh, you can see some thunderstorms out there breaking out west of Fort Worth in Texas and ice and snow all over Oklahoma. And there's the uh, winter storm watch warning map. All the way from the Texas Panhandle, along Interstate 40 to Oklahoma City, Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville, Knoxville, Asheville, and all the way over to uh, the Tidewater area on the Middle Atlantic Coast, just north of here. I thought we'd look at the uh, a loop coming off the RPM model, and uh, this is just going to show the progression of this storm. You can see uh, the whole thing uh, producing the big snows out in the Texas Panhandle, ice in Oklahoma. Ice in Arkansas, heavy rain below that. And notice how that uh, the th critical thickness values stay north of us, even the low-level thickness values. All rain here is soaking rain. And then it winds down tomorrow, maybe a few flurries back on the back end. But I think the model has a pretty good grasp on this whole thing. We're going to leave our forecast unchanged to go with mostly rain here with the big problems to the north. There's a QPF chart. Heaviest rain uh, near the Gulf Coast, two and a half inches down around Mobile, one to two inches up this way. There's the GFS, the 12Z run at noon tomorrow. And there's the trough. We'll go down below that. And uh, there's our storm. Uh, again, looks like it'll be coming in mainly tomorrow night. Uh, we, we think we'll get away with much of the day tomorrow being dry. Uh, there's six o'clock tomorrow evening, rain moving in. And again, you can see how close it is for North Mississippi and the Tennessee Valley of extreme North Alabama. It's a very close call up there. Uh, but again, for where we are, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, we're just thinking rain. There's midnight uh, tomorrow night, good soaking rain falling, a cold rain with ice over Tennessee and snow over North Tennessee. And Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, the heaviest precipitation moving on. There could be a few wraparound flurries Saturday morning. And then Saturday at noon, cold, mostly cloudy, maybe a few scattered flurries. And again, it's going to be hard getting out of the 30s on Saturday with a, a pretty brisk wind. The wind chill index below freezing much of the day. Sunday, uh, we're dry, sunny after a cold start in the low 20s. We'll wind up in the upper 40s. And Monday, we should warm up into the uh, low and mid 50s. Things getting back to where they should be. Tuesday, a little impulse coming along. And again, we'll mention some risk of light rain. Don't think it's a big deal. Wednesday of next week, we're dry. And Thursday, here comes another big wet system. And the Gulf, that's a uh, very wet system. And again, you have to watch the northern flank of that now up there in Tennessee for maybe some icing problems, but it looks like for most of Alabama, just a big soaking there. And then uh, a week from tomorrow, that system pulls away. And timing is up in the air. You know, we've seen some runs place that thing on Friday, some like this place it on Thursday, but whatever. The end of next week looks awfully wet. And uh, quickly on the 11th, six days later, pretty good looking storm there. And again, it's an El Nino-looking system. I've watched for cold air involved with that. And on the 13th, some evidence of the western ridge, eastern trough getting configured there and maybe some cold air dumping down in here. And, uh, again, we'll see. Probably more questions than answers about mid-month at this point. But that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on TV this evening at ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. And if you live in northwest Alabama, we want to see you tonight at Storm Alert 2010 in Winfield at First Baptist Church at 7. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.
Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.